Hello and welcome to episode 8 of the Daily Decrypt. My name is Amanda, and today it takes 204 rupees to purchase one Litecoin. The Bitcoin block reward is set to have in about 40 weeks from today. This means that the 24-hour supply of new Bitcoins mined on the network will drop from 3600 to 1800 the crowdfund raiser to uncover truth about the bombing of the Kunduz Afghanistan hospital continues. The fundraiser held on WikiLeaks accepts Bitcoin, Litecoin, and fiat donations. The nearly 5,000 current pledge was made by 77 people, and WikiLeaks hopes to reach a threshold of a $50,000 crowdfund. CoinATM Radar has tweeted that they've added over 6,000 new locations where Bitcoins can be bought and sold for cash. The three hot regions mentioned are Lithuania, Spain, and Poland. A user of the Bitcoin subreddit kindly posted this email, a spam email that seeks to fish for the user's Bitcoin private keys. The phishing email tells the recipient that someone is attempting to send them Bitcoin and instructs them to send the email writer a copy of their wallet file to verify their account. This process in effect transfers the private keys needed to spend the victim's Bitcoins into the possession of the phisher. McGill University in Montreal has a cryptocurrency club. This club in partnership with ChangeTip, the social tipping app, gave away Bitcoins to students at McGill's Frosh Week. And finally, Wired reports on a new smartphone app which enables children to learn to build computers, the everything machine. And that is your Daily Decrypt. Have a fabulous day.